Hey comic book fans, my nerdy friends, and my geek compadres, what's going on? Um, so, it's Saturday, and I had to work today, and I'm not really used to it, but it's one of those things where I, I only have to work one Saturday a month. Um, but, I got up early on a Saturday, I worked for eight and a half hours on a Saturday, and it was by myself, and I got kind of depressed feeling so I decided to go back to that shop that I went to the other day where I picked up all those quarter uh, Batman books and picked up some more books uh, these ones were a dollar um, but yeah they kinda brought my spirits up a little bit so uh, I'm gonna show you what I got so let's do this Okay, uh, normally I do my lightning round review video either Friday or Saturday, um, but I thought instead maybe you'd like to see some stuff I picked up. So uh, maybe I'll do really, really quick reviews at the very end. But first I'll show you all the stuff I got. Um, so uh, first, when I came home, uh, opened up the mail box open up the mailbox and got a package that I opened up. Uh, this is House of Mystery Volume 2, uh, Love Stories for Dead People. Uh, if you watched one of my videos uh, like last week, maybe the week before, or no, I think it was last week, um, you'd know that I ordered this book a while ago. Um, not ordered, I got it on eBay. Uh, and the guy ended up sending me the wrong volume. He sent me volume five. Um, so I contacted him. He apologized, said I could keep it, and he'd send me volume two as soon as possible. Well, it came in today, and I finally get to read it, so I'm super stoked about that. Um, my friend Brian uh, sent me the first volume. I really enjoyed it, and stoked to read this. And continue on with the the whole um, title. I'm kind of I got up way too early today. So uh, I think there's eight volumes, but this was the the difficult one to come by. Uh, In Stock Trades has all the other ones uh, for like eight bucks a piece. Uh, so pretty inexpensive. Uh, but yeah, so really excited about that. Uh, and now onto the stuff that I picked up at the shop. Uh, first, there were kind of uh, a few trade-like books. Um, this is Batman and Green Arrow, The Poison Tomorrow. Don't know anything about it, but it's Batman and Green Arrow. Uh, so I thought I'd give it a shot. I got this for two bucks. Uh, the way he does like his trades at the shop is he looks them up on eBay and sees what they sold for and takes the difference between the, the low and... Uh, high sales so I got that one for two bucks and this one I got for three this is Batman Holy Terror I just really liked uh, this picture this cover and apparently it's an Elseworlds story so pretty stoked about that I, I love that Elseworlds stuff so um, and it looks awesome doesn't it stoked about that uh, yeah I got that one for three bucks and then this trade I got for seven fifty. Um, I actually wanted to pick it up at Comic Con when I went uh, with the rest of the posse, but I I think it was Saturday I saw it. Set it aside uh, at the half price shop. Then was gonna go back Sunday and pick it up after I thought about it, but uh, it wasn't there, so. Um, I got it for cheaper than half price because cover price on this is seventeen ninety nine. Um, I got it for seven fifty, and that's uh Kingdom Come, 
by Mark Wade and Alex Ross. And you can see, just beautiful. Like, I have this in singles, and I've read it. Um, and the Alex Ross artwork is just phenomenal in this. Um, this is actually one story that I don't mind Superman being in so much because it's it's awesome. So I uh, I was just about to do a review on it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, stoked about that. And then I got a bunch of singles. Uh, these were all a buck, and I kind of already own them, but they've been out on loan for like two years now, and I kind of get this feeling that. I might not get them back. So, uh, it is a good chunk of my favorite run of comics. I've said it before. And this is the fourth copy of this issue that I own. Green Arrow, number one. This is the Kevin Smith run of Quiver. Um, every time I see this book, I have to pick it up. I... I it's something in me. So I have uh, one copy that's out on loan to my friend. I have another copy that I picked up probably like two months ago for pretty cheap, if I remember correctly. And then this one that I just paid a buck for. And then I have the CGC copy as well. I think I have a problem when it comes to that issue. Uh, but number one, number two, number three, Number four, all these covers are awesome, I love them. Number five, number seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Then uh, I also have this other. Uh, story arc of Green Arrow. Uh, Archer's Quest uh, it takes place directly after Quiver. Quiver goes on for uh, 15 issues, if I if I remember correctly. Um, obviously, didn't get they didn't have issue six or uh, 12 through 15. Uh, but I picked this up. I I think I have this out on loan as well uh, to the same friend. Uh, I can't remember if I do or not. I Maybe just the first issue I have. I don't remember, but I have it now. So this is uh, Archer's Quest. This is Green Arrow 16, 17. I love this cover. 18, 19. Love this cover as well. 20, and 21. So that's all of Archer's Quest. Uh, really stoked to find these, especially for a buck. Um, like I said, it's a good chunk of like my favorite run of comics, so uh, really, really stoked to have that. Um, and that's that's my haul. I've uh, been going for eight minutes now. I can do some quick, real, real quick reviews. Uh, Harbinger Omegas, number one, really liked it. I uh, hope it stays like this um, and doesn't go into like Harbinger Wars-esque type crapness. But I don't think it will. Pretty awesome. Iron Fist, issue 5. I still love this story. Uh, not my favorite cover, though. Kind of crap. Uh, but I love the story. Uh, really excited to keep going with this title. Um, Iron Fist, great character, in my opinion. Then we have Moon Knight issue 6, my favorite issue of this new run of Moon Knight so far. Uh, just really phenomenal, great stuff. Um, I think the creative team changes next issue, which is kind of sad, but um, who did I hear that's going to be doing it? I was really excited. I can't remember now, but I'm pretty excited about whoever's writing the next issue. I can't even remember now. It completely... My memory's gone. Anyway, uh, really good issue.
Then we have Superior Foes of Spider-Man issue 14. Uh, really loved this too. It was a pretty good week for comics. Um, I always love this book. I, oh, well, not always. There were two issues there that I really didn't like it. Uh, but this was a fantastic issue. Uh, bringing some great comedy to my poll. Uh, some lightheartedness. And I enjoy that. Then we have Swamp Thing issue 34. Great issue. Um, great little tift between uh, Swamp Thing and Lady Weeds, as well as the Wolf. Um, really enjoyed that. Uh, don't know how I feel about what's coming up next, because uh, I believe next issue is the September issues with all which all tie into futures end is that the name of it i don't know i'm not paying attention to dc really except for swamp thing uh i'm still gonna pick it up uh it's supposed to be five years in the future uh don't know how forward i'm looking to, how much i'm looking forward to it uh but this is cover of the week this cover is just badass love it And then Tiny Titans uh, Return to the Treehouse, Issue 3. I haven't read it yet. I'm going to end up reading it with Lucas tonight. So um, I'm sure it's great, though. Our Balthazar is just awesome. Uh, and, yeah, so that will be that will be fantastic, I'm sure. Uh, and that's going to be it for uh, this video. So got a whole bunch of really cool books. Read a whole bunch of really good books. It's been a good comic book week for me, so uh, really good stuff. Happy about that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed all your books, and I'll see you later. Bye.